My spinnerbait was fouled. I was jerking it, trying to get it unfouled. Power pole down. Trying to get it unfouled. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a good fish. That's a good start right there. Good I'm fishing fish. with my buddy Jeff Shaw, president of O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, look at that. Jeff, what a way to nice start. Fish. Oh, my goodness. What a way to start. <laughs> that's a picture fish, too. Ooh, red man spinnerbait. Black and chartreuse skirt. You know, one of the things that that I've done with since we started fishing a red man spinnerbait again and put this bait on the market, he is really stuck. Is uh, is I've gone back to some of the old colors that we caught him with years ago, and it is amazing how well how well those colors are working. Uh, and black and chartreuse is one of them that we caught tons of fish on, and and it's a really a good color. Uh, I found this spot the other day fishing with Roland Martin and uh, it's it's really a current break spot and and uh, the current is coming out of that river and the current is coming down this river we're uh, we're right at the conflux of, uh, of two rivers and it's causing these fish they come in here to feed but then also they're going up that river to spawn they're coming out of this cold river the St. Lawrence and going into that warmer river to get up in there and get in areas back in behind and in little bays and spawn. So it's the time of the year that they're doing that. And, uh, and more than likely, we're gonna try right out here, Jeff, but more than likely, we can probably catch a lot of fish just going down the bank in the river. Cause Sounds these good. fish that, when they leave this spot right here, they come through here and they stay a little while or they come in here and feed. Then they're just gonna go on up that river and look for a place to spawn. There he is. Right off the wood. He's on the other side of that log. He was, he was way on the other side of it. I was gonna come across it, but he was way over on the other side of it. He's just a small one. They're pretty in that clear water, aren't they? Oh yeah. Of course, catching that size all day long is to be fun. But there's a lot of them, a lot bigger in this St. Lawrence River. No doubt about that. That's a pretty little rascal, though. About There's one. Got him? Yep, got him. Oh, sound like a good one, too. Power pole down. Yeah, Get decent the fish. Power pole down. That ain't right, he's a good one. Spinnerbait. Red man spinnerbait. Red man spinnerbait. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Red man spinnerbait. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty nice one. Nice little it? football. There are just so Long many back. of them in here that are that size, just like, that's a nice size fish. It's just like an average size fish. <laughs> God, look at that. <laughs> it tore the log up. Look at that. <laughs> he tore the log up. A scrapper he broke the law into log into. I've never seen a fish break a log into. That one did. He broke the log into. Is that crazy? That's a nicer one there. Better fish. Isn't that something? Right out here in the middle of the river, on the edge of the river. That's a good fish right there. Nice fish. Oh. oh, Jimmy, break your rod. That's a pig. That is a pig, you're right. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Man, they're shooting at me. <laughs> Look at the size of that guy. You got him? I had one hit right there on the other side of the wood. That's a four pounder. That's a four pounder. Did he hit on that log or past yep. it? No, just on that log. The two that I got were way past it. I don't know if they run out there and got it from the log, but. That was a squirrel bat right there. I think it was. Jimmy's on them. <sighs> Hitting that red man spinner bait. I was gonna throw some plastic swim baits or lucky sticks, lucky swims, but they keep biting that spinner. Woohoo! look at that guy go. They like get to get air. in the air. Like to get airborne. 
You got him? No. Got the uh, brush. Ow! Golly! Got that you. blade hit my finger. He flopped and that blade hit my finger. And buddy, it hurt. It hurt. There's a pretty fish right there. They are so gorgeous. You hung up? Yeah. You got another one? That's yeah, a good one. Woo! That sounded like a monster. Good fish. That's a big one? Pretty good. Woo! Good fish. Oh, yeah. Hello, power pole. You always power pole when you get one on because you got to have some friend or two around there, probably. Got to have a friend or two around there. Ooh, that is a good one, Jeff. You going to catch him or are you just going to... I got him. He's not as big as I thought, but... Good one. Pretty solid fish. Looks pretty good to me. He's a lot good bigger man. than one I got on my rod right now. <laughs> oh, I got one now, though. Woo! Did you see that? <laughs> He's aerial. Did you see that? Holy Get cow, there. he jumped two foot out of the water. <laughs> Woo. Come here, baby. Come here, lover. A pretty nice fish right there, too. Got the salad with him. Oh, he's not wanting to get in the boat. Oh, he's in the boat now. In the boat now, sugar booger. You little sugar booger. Well, I'm telling you, that little bait drills them. I mean, they are, they are hooked good. They are hooked. Look at that fish. Will you look at that fish? Look how fat it is. Look how fat that thing is. That is a beauty. Goodbye, baby. There's some of this around. This is uh, looks like a little bit of hydrilla. That's what's growing on the bottom. There's not much of it, but now that's that's holding them in here too. But I think the key thing that we got going here is current. Now we got some logs and stuff for them to get around, but a lot of them are not around the logs. A lot of them are because the sun shines right bright. We're fishing in the afternoon. We got a big bright sun up there, and, and uh, it's it's warm. It's really really warm, and uh, so a lot of them are getting under some of this wood that's in the area. But the fish are here because not because of the wood. They're here because of the current. As that current comes out of that river and hits a current hits a current out here, and they're just gathering around under some of these logs right now. This is the smallest one of the day so far. Oh, a largemouth. A largemouth. Looky here. Now you're going to catch both largemouth and smallmouth out of this river, but a lot of it depends on where you're fishing. And this is not really a good place for the largemouth, but this guy's doing the same thing as, as what the smallmouth are, is he's getting ready to go up this river. Getting ready to go up that river, and that's just a probably, I don't know, it might be a little female, but it's a beautiful fish. Now, that fish is a lot older than you might think. That fish is probably a couple year old fish who was down in southern Oklahoma it'd probably be two and a half pounds now because they got a short growing season up here. About five months of the year, they're basically in its kind of semi, you know, dormant stage. It's a little bit almost a hibernation type stage. That's a pretty nice one. That's a largemouth. Yeah, nice largemouth. Nice largemouth. Look at that. Look at that. That is Boy, a that's nice beauty in the largemouth too. You want to grab him? He swim right to you, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at that pretty rod right mouth. Red man. Right mouth, isn't he? Yeah. You gonna unhook him for me? I am. We'll try. Maybe. Right in the roof of the mouth. He was hooked good. He wasn't going anywhere. Isn't that a pretty large mouth? Golly. That large mouth is probably maybe eight or ten years old, yeah. You need some needle nose? Yeah. Got some there? Yeah. There he is. Picture of him? Go ahead, go, go ahead, I'll let you know. He's your fish. Huh? I don't want to take a picture of your fish. <laughs> Nobody ever knows the difference. Oh, <laughs> he's your fish. I got my phone off anyway. Here, I'll get a picture of him if you want to. Come here, let me get back here where the sun will be right. Ah, you got your phone on? Yep. I thought you were going to stand here with me. You don't <laughs> want it, this fish, huh? Uh, he's your fish. All right, buddy. <laughs> got him. That's a big, beautiful largemouth right nice there. Nice fish. Mm. Wow. And that fish is probably every bit of 10 years old, maybe 12 or 14 years old, maybe 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 14 years old. Largemouth in the north, these fish are a lot older than a five-pound largemouth would be 
down in the south and, and that, but they just are so healthy they're so they grow from a young age and they grow healthy when they're six months old and when they're a year old and two years three years and a three-year-old fish or four-year-old fish might only weigh a couple of pounds but he's just stocky and he's healthy because he's growing slow but he's eating a lot they got a lot to eat and then in the winter time they just don't expend much energy because it's so cold they just almost are sort of semi-hibernating up here and uh and, and some of these fish, like that fish there, that, that five pound bass there, was probably definitely in excess of 10 years old. Maybe, maybe even 15 or 18 years old. I mean, that's just, that's amazing. It just takes them a long time to get to be five pounds. Pike. Pike, big yep. one? That's decent. <laughs> There's some big be... pike here. That might have been one yeah, more than my bait. 20. 28, 30 inch or probably. <laughs> you wanna net him or what? Well, I don't wanna stick my hand in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Why so not? I, so I can grab him. Huh? Yeah, that's good. Fortunately, he's got the... Well, we don't have a net, so. No. You grab him right behind the right behind yeah. the ears. Grab him right behind his ears. Maybe have him pliers, I bet I can just get my bait out of his mouth. I wanna see the fish. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him very good. <laughs> Look at the teeth on that thing. I don't want to rip my hand off. There he is. There you go. That's what I wanted to see. Perfect. There's one. That was slow rolling. It's a little one. A little larger mouth. Come here, baby. Oh. I see where we're up here now. We're off of that current. Now that current, we're catching largemouth. Ooh, that hurt my head, Jimmy. Don't bang my head on the side of the boat. Largemouth are a nice big pike. It's a largemouth. It's a largemouth, I think. Now, I don't know. Yeah, largemouth. Big largemouth, isn't yeah. it? Woo oh, yeah, nice one. Golly, yeah. What's that one on, Jeff? That's on the uh, spinnerbait. Red, red man spinnerbait. Red man spinnerbait. Oh Again. man. Again. God, they're gorgeous fish up here. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Come off that little stick up. That's a dandy. Good fish. Golly, that's another five pound fish. Red man spinnerbait. Nice. That's just a nice big size. How deep did you have your bait? I was uh, probably a foot and a half. Yeah. They're wanting, it down, they're wanting it down a little slower. They're not wanting it up on top. There's one. I figured there'd be one up here around that point somewhere. It's a little pocket. Sure enough. Good fish. Nice large mouth. I think that's what it is. Yep, nice large mouth. Boy, they're just so, I just love these large mouth up here. You come up here to catch small mouth, but golly, that is just a, about a pretty a large mouth bass as you can say grace over right there. Those are beautiful. We've caught quite a few of them too. I mean, gorgeous, beautiful fish. This red man spinnerbait we're fishing with is one that I won a couple of BASS Angler of the Year titles on. And I caught probably 70% of my fish. I've got a, a little red uh, little red swim bait trailer on there. That little swim bait trailer is one that Will Clute gave me. Uh, and uh, I've got a black and chartreuse tail and if you'll notice, this is a short arm spinnerbait. And what that does is this single spin, this single spin allows this bait that, and a wire moves back and forth like that. It moves back and forth like that. And you see what happens when it moves back? That tail does that right there in the water. The barrel swivel causes a tremendous amount of vibration. And it's just something the fish, in all the spinnerbaits we have nowadays, it's just something that the fish have not seen in years and years and years. We decided to bring it back out and it'd be totally new to all the fish. The fish haven't seen it. And it's just proven to be exactly what we thought. It's a pure dynamite bait. I mean, one of smoking. 